Hey, Kyle, with, with Debo's kind words about you, what were some, some good things you can say about him? Uh, man, yeah, uh, kind of a lot of the similarities, which is why I like him. I'm sure that's why he liked me. Uh, he uh, is a leader, number one. Uh, comes in every day, does the same thing. That's some things you look for in a leader. On the field as well, he's this first, like, first in drill work, first in team periods. He's uh, vocal, something you kind of look for in a leader as well. So he's been some guy that I really leaned on being new to the program. Kyle, I've asked this to the players uh, that have come Sorry? in. Uh, what's that? Uh, no, I, I didn't hear what you said. Oh, right, Kyle, I've asked, I've asked this question to the players that have come in in the past. When you come in here, you've played, obviously, at a Power 5 school before, and I'm sure you want to come in here and you want to be able to you know, show what you're capable of doing. What's that process like of trying to you know, not step on toes, but at the same time to try to be the leader that you are accustomed to being? Um, which is a testament to these guys that's already been here. Uh, it's, it's been nothing like stepping on toes. It's been a, a seamless integration of uh, players and, and, and scheme and, and, and our different skill sets. Uh, it's been no, no type of animosity. It's just been like you come in and I make them better and they make me better and we're going to mesh together. So come August when we're time to play o, ODU and every other team, we're on the same page. Kyle, this defensive end room is a lot similar to a lot of positions for South Carolina at the moment where you have a lot of veterans coming in to bring up a lot of young guys. How is that working out in spring ball? And then what can you say about some of the young guys that are in your room? I mean, it's been going great as far as bringing them guys up and uh, stepping in. And me and another older guy that I'm sure I know who it is, he, he coming in, we're talking to him. And uh, as far as the young guys, they're getting better every day. Uh, just like uh, Debo said with his young guys in this room, same with me. Uh, Dylan Story, he's an athletic freak. Uh, I haven't seen anything like it from a freshman, a guy that young. And then um, just the guys who are becoming, stepping into older roles, uh, BT, Brian Thomas, and uh, a couple other guys there. That's been seamless, flawless in our room. So we kind of like how that's going so far. Is there, like, I don't know, some, some good in your room? There's so many new guys. Does it feel like a, a lot of you guys are looting the defense kind of together? And does that make you guys closer on and off the field? Uh, definitely with the being like an addition of new guys, as well as the addition of guys who were young before and coming in. We all together didn't have much knowledge of the playbook, but as we like are going through spring practice and then even off season OTAs and things like that, we're getting a better knowledge of it. And people who did have a, a very good understanding of it are helping the new guys out and the younger guys out. So that's been a plus as well. What has it been like so far with practice and just being in the building, being around the coaches based on what they were telling you during your recruiting process? Uh, it's been thorough. Uh, it's, been, it's been the same way throughout. Um, I like, kind of like the way we've organized our things as far as like how it feels pro-oriented as far as the practice style with the periods we do and the way we recover our bodies on our off days and meetings we have with Demo and stuff like that. I like how it makes me feel and stuff like that. Uh, with uh, Coach Lucas, he, he was in your ear before you walked in here. What, what has it been like working with him, actually getting to experience him, player coach on the field and that, that type of thing? I said this before. Um, I feel like everything that he told me that was was going to happen when, when we were, I was here as far as the way he coaches me and the knowledge he gives me and how consistent he is with the things he tells me every day. I feel like it's been the same one day, one since I stepped on campus. Uh, he's been a big part of the reason I've developed just in a short time of being when I first got here to being here now. So like big kudos to Coach Lucas, which is another big reason why I'm here now. You said the development thing. Where, where have you developed in the last, you know, couple weeks, couple months? And, you know, what are you looking to to bolster in your game the next month or two? Uh, definitely athletically. Uh, shout out to Coach Day and his staff. I've uh, definitely took big strides in my athletic performance, just running, jumping, form, form and everything else that they talk about. And on the field, I definitely took a um, huge step with my mental, like learning the plays and actually thinking them through when I'm on the field instead of just running very fast like a freshman, you know. Appreciate y'all, appreciate y'all.